Santa's coming to Bikini Bottom. No buts about it. You've all been a bunch of jerks. It's time to find out who made Santa's naughty list and find out what jerky stuff they did to get there. First, SpongeBob SquarePants. The sweetest sponge in town loves spreading joy and laughter to everyone. But there was that one time he left Squidward to be eaten by the abominable snow mollusk. Oh yeah, Gary, you are really motoring now. Right, guys? We forgot Squidward! No squid left behind, SpongeBob. Tisk tisk, right to the naughty list. Next up, Patrick Star. This spectacular starfish always has the best intentions at heart. Although Patrick did plan to capture Santa and hold him prisoner for presents. Ooh, what's that? It's a trap. A trap for Santa. Ooh, baited with Christmas treats. I will trap Santa in my box locked up like Fort Knox and make him stop the clocks. <laughs> and we'll have Christmas all year long. Hey, a cookie! That's a little rough around the edges, Patrick, and lands him the second spot on the naughty list. Now for Squidward Tentacles. Squidward may be a grumpus, but he has been known to do the right thing. But taking a snowball fight with your friends to the next level is too much. Oh yeah. Hey, SpongeBob. Yes, Patrick. I think Squidward's taking this really seriously. That last one had his clarinet in it. Mm, looks like it's time for plan B. <laughs> Not exactly the biggest surprise, but Squidward joins the rest on Santa's naughty list. Next up, Mr. Krabs. He may be harsh to his employees, but being a good parent is definitely nice. Still, being so cheap you don't feed your sledding worms is pretty naughty. Snoop out the money, little guys. Come on, mush. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I was gonna feed you. Honest. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Crab. I just been turned into lunch meat by me own worms. Oh, up in, sir. We'll get you out of here. Much appreciated, boy. That's pretty low, even for you, Crabs, and lands another one on the naughty list. Now, Sandy Cheeks, a true friend through and through when things get tough. Yet she can get a little overly competitive and take things too far. You too, Sandy? Things are starting to look grim for Bikini Bottom. Next up, Sheldon Plankton. He does have a soft side for his computer wife, Karen, but there was that one time he turned everyone into jerks with jerktonium fruitcakes. I'll give everyone in Bikini Bottom a present of the most innocent of all holiday goodies, the fruitcake. And each and every slice will be laced with jerktonium. Once ingested, no one can help becoming the biggest, creepiest, meanest jerk ever! And Santa will realize that Sheldon J. Plankton isn't so bad after all. And then I'll finally get what I really want for Christmas. The Krabby Patty secret formula. And shocking to no one, Plankton lands the next spot on the list. You're up, Mrs. Puff. Putting up with SpongeBob's driving earns her a lot of nice points. Although she did enter SpongeBob into a demolition derby under the disguise of extra credit. Pretty gruesome, huh? You gotta <laughs> hand it to those guys, risking their lives for our amusement? Risking their lives for our amusement? I could finally be rid of SpongeBob. 
forever. <laughs> and I mean that in the worst possible way. <laughs> What's so funny? I just thought of a way that you can earn some extra credit. Hooray! And with that, Mrs. Puff joins the rest on Bikini Bottom's naughty list. Last but not least, Gary the Snail. Gary is fearless when it comes to standing up for the ones he loves. Still, there was that one time he overshared his dreams when wearing the Chatterbox translation collar. Hello there, Papa Bob. Papa Bob. Oh, oh, Gary, now you can express your innermost thoughts in language I can understand. I have so many questions. Lay them on me, Papa Bob. What do you dream about? Mostly. I dream I'm flying above it all. Aha, uh -huh, that's sweet. While I breathe fiery destruction upon my enemies. Go <laughs> hey, if you're gonna dream, dream big, right? Yikes, Gary. Santa definitely saw that and will be adding you to the naughty list, too. Wait, so everyone was naughty this year? That's not the feel good warm holiday fuzzies we want. Maybe it's not too late. If only there was some way to get back into Santa's good graces. When others are talking, never interrupt. Don't put people down or leave the toilet seat up. It's the time for family and holly and turkey. Tis the season to be jolly, not jerky. Jolly, not jerky. Santa brought nearly every gift on your list. Why whine about the one that he missed? Don't be a jerk. That's the holiday spirit Santa's looking for. It's never too late to do the right thing and get back on the nice list. Be sure to tune in for more of your favorite holiday moments, only on Nick.